That never gets old. What is going on guys? Today, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I wanted to talk to you about one of the, probably the best mod you could do to a supermoto, or probably really any bike, but, but we're gonna focus on supermotos today, um, is upgrading your seat. Now, anybody who's ever ridden a supermoto could tell you that the seats absolutely stuck, suck. The OEM seats on basically every supermoto that I could think of, maybe not the 701, but it depends on who you talk to about that. The OEM seats are horrible. I don't understand why none of these manufacturers can get a, a good seat from the factory. Why does it take an aftermarket company and you to spend more money on a bike to actually be able to enjoy riding one? Now, the seat that I got is actually a gift from a couple couple friends of mine. I got uh, the Seat Concepts uh, regular seat for my 2008 Husqvarna SM510R. Now, the reason I went with the Seat Concept seat over any other aftermarket seat manufacturer was one, the reviews, two, the price point, and three, looks. So this seat, I mean for this specific bike, I'm sure it's different for different models and whatnot, is uh, I believe this was $175. I don't know how much shipping was, but I know on the website, this specific seat I got was $175. Which, for an aftermarket seat, is extremely reasonable. With this seat in particular, it, it comes with the, co uh, excuse me, the cover and the actual replacement seat foam. You have to use your OEM seat pan. So you have to, the one negative thing about the seat is you have to actually disassemble your OEM seat to put on the aftermarket foam and cover. Which I was fine with because I knew it was gonna be way better than the stock seat anyway, so I had no issues whatsoever tearing that seat up. And actually, even, you know, most people say that the foam gets destroyed when you try to take it off, but the OEM seat had no adhesive on it basically whatsoever and came off in one piece. So if I really wanted to, I could redo the seat back to the OEM specifications or if I ever sell the bike, give the person the foam and the cover, but it's, it's really not necessary. So every other seat that I looked at was close three, $400. I mean, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think all the seats besides this one were ready to go. You bought it, showed up to your door, and you put it on, and that was it. You didn't have to, you know, do the labor yourself to put the seat cover on, but honestly, anybody can put a seat cover on. You know, replace foam and put the cover on, and it, it's really simple. The only thing that I, I highly recommend is spend the extra money on a a pneumatic staple gun. If you don't have a compressor, a handheld one works fine. I tried to go the cheap route with the, you know, the hand one, and I really wish I would have spent the extra $25 and just bought the pneumatic stapler, because it, it would have made life a lot easier. Because you, you're trying to pull on the seat cover to get it tight, to staple it down, and then you gotta squeeze the heck out of the stapler and it, it, it's a pneumatic one would be so much so much better but it, the install was a breeze there's nothing to it you remove your old seat cover remove the seat foam you want to spray the seat pan the, the plain seat pan with like a contact cleaner brake clean alcohol whatever you got wipe it down get it nice and clean take a little bit of sandpaper file any sharp edges that you got so you because you don't want to rip the new cover then you're gonna have to spray adhesive, use a spray adhesive onto the seat pan. And the seat, uh, excuse me, the adhesive that I used, I used, uh, what did I, 3M Super 77, I believe it was. I got it at Lowe's, I think it was like $8 for a whole can, which, which is really nothing. I mean, you can't beat that. $8 and then you're ready to go. And I, I only used 
an eighth of the can. So if you have somebody that has it, like that would be freaking awesome. So it would save you $8. So there's, that's basically the only tools you need. You don't even really need the sandpaper. You need the staple gun and the adhesive. That's that's basically it. Oh, excuse me, and a screwdriver to uh, pull out the old staples from the OEM seat and take the cover off. That's, that's really the only three things you need. But overall fit and finish of this, this seat is unbelievable. It, it, it looks great, it feels great, it's absolutely fantastic. The only problem is, is I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it a little bit. It's got a slight wrinkle, but that's because I was rushing to get the cover on. But I'm, if I really want to fix it, I could pull some staples and tighten it up. But I'm, I'm not really concerned about it. It does not affect the performance of the seat whatsoever. Comfortability-wise, this seat is perfect. I used to only be able to ride this bike maybe 15, 20 minutes before. I'm standing up, you know, moving around, trying to get comfortable, switch from one cheek to the other cheek. And the stock seat is like sitting on a two by four. This, it's like sitting in a lazy boy. It is, I could ride this bike all day and not feel sore at all. The foam itself isn't much thicker. I think it's just a more plush foam with, it's actually wider, so it supports you better. But it doesn't make the bike look funky either, which is which is why I didn't like some of the other seats, because they were wider. But it throws off the, the whole the whole lines of the bike and you can tell it's an aftermarket seat. This thing, unless you know what you're looking at, besides the big you know logo on the back of the seat, it's the seat concepts, it looks like an OEM seat. But for the money, the best mod that you could do to a supermoto has to be upgrade the seat. Ask anybody, you know, guys that own DRZs, KTMs, other Huskies. You know, I even heard some people complain about the new 701 seat. Some people like it, some people don't. The nice thing Seat Concepts offers a seat for the new Husky 701. And basically every other Husky that I, you know, that I know of from, you know, 04 up, I believe. At least street legal, maybe the TCs and whatnot. But uh, it's it's definitely worth the money. I highly recommend upgrading your seat, especially if you're one of you know you want to ride longer than 15 minutes before your legs and you know butt starts to hurt because that's that's no fun. Nobody nobody wants to do that. But that's that's basically it. I just wanted to get out here, make a quick video, a quick honest review of uh, something that I, I use. You know, obviously I'm not sponsored for this video. Seat Concepts is not paying me any royalties or anything like that. I just I wanted to give these guys a good review because it's it's amazing what a new seat can do. It can just change up riding altogether. What 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 is why is this guy? What is this? What? You okay? You okay? All right, all right. Yeah, it, it's amazing to how what one hundred seventy five dollars can literally just absolutely transform a bike. This thing is insane, absolutely insane. I can't get enough of this bike. So if you're in the market for a new seat, I highly recommend, can't can't give them enough credit, is the, the seat concept seat. Right now. And if I ever get a future bike, I the hope they make, and the seat sucks, I hope they make a seat for it because these guys are great. That's it for me today, guys. Let me get out here, enjoy this road a little bit more, and you know, really appreciate uh, feedback from you guys. Let me know what you want to see. You know, if you want to see more track day videos, you want to see more moto vlogs, you want to see more, you know, how to's on different bikes and whatnot. Let, you know, I appreciate all the comments, the like, and the support that you guys give me. You know, I, I'm not doing this to make money, I'm just doing this for fun. You know, I got a good job and all that stuff. I, I don't, you know, I'm not in it for the money. I just in it to have fun and make cool videos because I know I like watching videos on YouTube, so. Anyway, I'd appreciate you guys' support. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, the usual stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Later.
Stop me.